What's up, chumps? Day 3,591,000 of the pandemic, and episode one of the DNA podcast, the newest and most mediocre podcast on the World Wide Web today. Guaranteed to be your go to podcast when you just need some weird background noise when you're having a deep conversation with your friend or something to fall asleep to and you're not actually going to listen. What's going on? Oh my. That was quite the introduction. Wait, so are we doing, are we saying just like, are we DNA or are we our actual names? I don't really know. Do you want to be incognito? DNA is there because the first letter of her name is D. And the first letter of my name is A. And I thought it'd be clever. And you know what? It is. It's very clever. Yeah. I'm really appreciative of it. DNA. Genetically predisposed to be the best. Aw. Not really. Oh. I mean, (laughs) we'll be all right. (laughs) It's fine. Take it till you make it. Um, But yeah, hi. I'm D. We can do that. That's pretty cool. We'll probably forget. Let's let's let them guess. If you know us and are listening to this, don't comment. What our names are. But if you're listening to this, guess what our names are. Episode one and already got a little game going on. Mm-hmm. All right. All yeah, right. I know. So what's going on, people? How is lockdown treating you? Are you one of those types of people that went insane a long time ago? Or are you one of those types of people that's feeling it creeping ever so slowly? I mean, it's kind of been creeping since day one. But, it you know, it's a, really a progression of how... You know how sometimes you feel like you're falling in slow motion? It's kind of like that. I just feel like I'm falling, and it won't stop. Oh, we're all falling. We're all falling right down to hell, because like I've been saying, 2020 as a whole is God making us all atone for our sins. I don't know what we did, but it must have been bad. See, I, I feel like I don't remember most of 2019, because 2020 is just so... Horrible. Oh, 2019 was <laughs> such a fun year. Was it? I don't <laughs> oh, remember yeah. it. I'm just too clouded with trauma. If I could go back to 2019, <laughs> if I could go back to 2019 and do it all over again, I would totally do it. Bad stuff and all. Well, man. I mean, you did go to New Orleans twice. That was pretty cool. First of all, it's pronounced New Orleans, not New Orleans. Oh, you excuse me. Simpleton. We're in New Jersey. I'm sorry. <laughs> but yeah, I've I never did been go. Down the tri-state area. No, but yeah, okay. exactly. I went to New Orleans twice. Well, actually, the second time was in 2020. And little funny thing, and I don't want to talk about coronavirus because I think everyone has. And if I hear any more, and you're like <laughs> me, if you hear any more about it, you're gonna lose your mind. But one little funny thing is when I went there for Mardi Gras, and then I came home, and then this was all starting. We're watching the news, and like. It appears oh, that yeah, a big national, a big national <laughs> spread started at Mardi Gras, and I was like, "Oh my God, I was there!" Yeah, I forgot you got home. Um, I got right home. When that happened. Yeah, That's I got crazy. home. Right. Nah, but anyway, 2019 was pretty fun. I mean, I don't really remember the first half of it too well. I like, I, I honestly would not be able to give you a beginning. <laughs> Or a rising, yeah. or the rising action to that story, but I could definitely well, in 2019, give you the climax and the downfall. In 2019, I turned 21, so that was pretty cool. I went to Atlantic City for the first time, you know. Gross. My grandfather had to point out, you know, Caesar's horses. I hate it. Because he's always City. like, you need money? Go stand out by the horses at Caesar's Palace. You know what that means? Because, you know, there's... Anyway. So... <laughs> I have no idea what you mean. I don't know nothing about really? Atlantic City. I, oh well, people will under understand. Look, I hate. Things. But he says Atlantic it City. jokingly. He doesn't really mean it. Of course, he would never let his daughter go and stand. Daughter, what is it like a prostitution granddaughter thing? Go sit. Yeah, uh, go stand outside of Caesar's. So that's what I thought, <laughs> but I didn't know if like that was. Whatever. Why and, the hell would you go to Atlantic City? I hate Atlantic City. It was my first time. We went to Bally's. Bally's is cool. Not Atlantic sponsored. City sketches me out. Well, I mean, it's yeah. just like full of crackheads. And like cracker. danger, <laughs> danger. I no, really... it was it was like really nice in Bally's. I've always wanted to go to like that pool thing, but I don't think it's really safe to go swimming in that pool. People in New Jersey, what do you think about Atlantic City? Yeah, I'm I personally hate that place. It's it's a collapsing empire, Oof. and it's on <laughs> its last legs. But I'm pretty sure that bustling. Uh, attractions on the shore like that they're like supposed to be crazy for like two or three decades and then they're supposed to just crash you know I've been thinking about it 
we live on the shore. Yeah. There's people who, like, come here for vacation. Why the hell would anyone want to come <laughs> like, here why? for vacation? This is really weird because we have, like, more than, at least more than seven beaches at our disposal. We've got, like, fi- okay, yeah, county. we might have, like, 15 beaches, but, like. No, I mean, in our county, we have, like, six or seven, I think. I'm not counting right now. Not doing that. I don't but, know. Um, I only like, go to, like, two, three of them <laughs> primarily. <laughs> two. It's just, like, whatever's convenient, but people come here for Which vacation. one of the beaches is your overall favorite between, like, the main three that everyone around here usually is at Belmar Point or Manasquam? Asbury's probably one of them. Lots well, Asbury's there Asbury. for, like, drinking. I'm talking, like, when people are, like, just going to the beach. I don't know. Like, my main three is unpopular Belmar Point opinion, and Swan. Unpopular opinion, Spring Lake is, like, Spring Lake is classy. nice. I love Spring Lake. Right. I could li- mm, yum. Nah, love see, my top three is Belmar, Point, and Manasquan, but not in, like, any specific order, because it depends on what I'm trying to do. If I'm just trying to go to the beach for the day, I like going to Belmar, because there's a lot of stuff there. If I'm trying to <laughs> have... No, I mean like I mean like stuff in terms well, I mean, of like I if I get hungry, the world is my oyster. No, exactly. I agree. Like there's food options, but there's not like things to do. I'm not talking things to do. I'm you at said the pe- there's a lot of things. No, to there's do a there. lot of That's stuff. I well, I guess what I should have said is there's just a lot of places to go if I get hungry. But if I'm at the beach, I'm usually in the water eighty percent of the time. Point Pleasant is fun mm. for. Games. The games and Rides. stuff, and Manasquan is just oh, where you find Moby your. Dick. Uh, I prefer that weird spinny one. Oh, the thing where it lifts you into the wall and you yep, grab anything? Yep, that thing is so fun. I accidentally forgot to take a necklace off when I went on there one time. Horrifying. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but, like, then there's Manasquan, which oh, is, like... No. Manasquan is just, like, the great place to go contemplate every single problem you have in your life. I think yeah. overall, pound for pound, Manasquan's my favorite, but I think that's just because Wait. I have the most, like, amazing memories and fun nostalgia how many yeah. times this week have we been to manasquan uh, i think we've been to manasquan at least four times this week I don't no remember. cap <laughs> anyone that lives around the howl freehold brick whatever if you live around these beaches which beach is your favorite beach or are you kind of like me and you can't really pick a favorite but you've got preferred for certain situations i'm actually pretty interested to know cool nice that's good, like two good, questions i've good, asked good job at giving our location away neil no, I gave away our, your name. I'll give away <laughs> my address. Okay. And I dare someone to try to do something to this house. I I gave... um. You gave my I, surname. I gave a part of your name away. Yeah, you gave my nickname, my Americanized See, name. See, I told you it's not going to last. I don't care if it it's lasted. It might last until the end of this podcast. I don't care if it lasts. Just understand that the whole point of me doing that was so that it I would know, flow. I know, and it's fun. It's cool. It's hip and trendy. 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 <laughs> oh, Lord. You need help, man. No, I don't. I know people that do, though. <laughs> That's dark. <laughs> don't don't make that pitch again. You know that it goes... I know what it does to you. Clear I'm through sorry. my Sometimes head. it just... You know, it probably went through the areas, too, and I think about it. So sorry. I... Sometimes make really high pitched noises. For she no reaches levels that would <laughs> make a dog whimper sometimes. Uh, it makes my cat go like, what the? <laughs> sometimes he looks at me like I'm nuts. Like Your earlier, cat's weird. My cat's a dog. Her cat has the same color scheme as Tom from Tom and Jerry. You've said this, I don't know how, to how many people. Because he does. Every person that comes over, when you come over, you tell them that. Because he does. This is Tom from Tom and Jerry. So should I rename him Tom? I think it's a little late for that. I don't I don't know. I think what you should do is get a brown mouse and have the whole duo and like watch him chase. Nah, his favorite mouse is gray. He literally just wants the one mouse that I got him from the dollar store when I first got him. He wants that mouse, which I had to take the stuffing out and the bell that was inside <laughs> of it and throw it out because he ripped it apart. And it's this little raggedy thing. It doesn't even have any bounce to it. You know how you're supposed to have a toy and it's supposed to have some bounce to it when you throw it? This one doesn't even have bounce. You, it's just a piece of cloth. You, and he, you're no, talking I'm not talking. Shh, shh, shh. Then he Dylan, he you're ranting. It. Yeah, no, listen, listen. I got him, I don't know how many 
mouse toys after he broke that mouse. And the only one that he plays with is the Dollar Tree mouse. That you know me, how much money I wasted? That makes me think of something really funny, but I know if I say it, you're going to hit me. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I'll refrain. Go ahead. I'll refrain. Nah. <laughs> Can you make it PG in any way, shape, or form? Not a chance in hell. Okay. Um, <laughs> is there a way that you can lessen the load? No, because it's Like sugar wood. coat. <laughs> can you sugar coat it? I can't. <laughs> I can't. There is no way to drop the rating on this joke, so we're just going to have to whisper, move it on. Whisper, whisper, Why am I whispering? Whisper it. What? Whisper it. Oh. You're right, I would have hit you. I told you so. <laughs> nope. Nope, nope, nope. People at home, I'm sorry that you had to be deprived of this comedic genius that comes from my mind, but uh <laughs> If they listen closely enough, they'll probably hear it. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure there's go someone. back and edit it. A podcast is supposed to be natural. This is natural. Oh yeah. Natural like <laughs> some green tea, I don't know. Green tea. I love green tea. We're currently sitting on the couch. Last year, I would straight up. Last year, I remember I would straight up (laughs) brew a pot of green tea in the morning and throughout the day just drink the whole thing. First of all, I have never, like, peed so much in my life. Green tea's gross. Green tea is amazing. You're simply a child with an underdeveloped palate. Um, (laughs) Probably. (laughs) Listen. Drinking that much green tea flushed my body, and I attribute that greatly to the physique I had last year. Oh. Well, I mean, you're from... Can I buy a vowel? Your physique <laughs> has not changed. My physique <laughs> has changed, but it's for the better. I was like... I was like... Did you hear that? What, what? the heck was that? I don't know. I went, I, from, I went from being like a bodybuilder-esque with like a legit 10 pack ab set and that's not a joke she is I can attest it was a 10 pack to now I just got my 6 pack but I'm just athletic yeah like my endurance you is beefed the up beef I guess I have answered the age old question of where's the beef it's, it's right here, here. <laughs> <laughs> that you know was what? the dumbest joke I, I have made that. all month what <laughs> that's not butter you can't believe that's my joke <laughs> oh man that's funny no well they'll they'll learn the joke but that's my joke they'll learn the main joke though Over yeah but time, that's that's for time that just comes you know yeah they it have has to, to flow the audience is gonna have to earn my trust for yeah. that information yeah there's only a select few <laughs> only a select few that know the truth I'm not doing it now. I'm not doing it I'm now. Not, I'm not saying that you will. I'm just telling them. They'll find out. Annie Yellow, I'm going to hit you. What did I do? It smells so bad. What smells bad? <laughs> Didn't you? No. <laughs> I you did. No. That wasn't me. <laughs> Was it him? He's sleeping. Could he, he fart in his sleep? I don't know, but I didn't do nothing. What the fuck was that? I don't know. Do oh I... no, I cursed. I'm so sorry. Oh, boo hoo. Well, you've said it once, right? I don't think I've said fuck once. Okay, well, you did it. Okay, thank you for making me feel better. All right. Oh, please. It's like every second word when I talk normally. I know. <laughs> it's my upbringing. I know. When you grow up as Italian as I do, it's pretty much every third, fourth, and seventh word you hear in a sentence. Wow, okay. I'm pretty sure I said fuck before I said dada. <laughs> That's actually pretty funny. <laughs> Probably true. <laughs> you shouldn't ask your mom. I hey, got... Mom, go, what was my first I word? Got, I got Are in trouble sure? when I was in, like, first grade because uh, uh, someone said something to me and I said fuck that. And the teacher was like, What? <laughs> That's funny. I was, like, I was I was too afraid three. to do anything in school. Like literally up until college, I was <laughs> like teacher's pet. Literally teacher's pet. Oh, I would you kick the, myself. I want to kick myself. You sometimes. were the type of person like a teacher's pet 
that I... I used to sing to my teachers in elementary I school. I would strive <laughs> to piss off the teacher's pets, especially in, like, high school. I, I'll i never forget. I was a sophomore when this happened. It's time for story time, by the way. Oh, I was Lord. a sophomore. No, I was a sophomore when this happened. Buckle up. And, uh... Click. I was in English class, and I was in a class... I still... Con- I'm still in contact with this English teacher. We're, like... Oh, no. Very... No, we're very close. It's that class. Yep. Oh, but Lord. She, to this day, calls this year the class from hell. It was yep. me and half the class was my friends. We were just, it was awful. We, <laughs> And then we had three teacher's pets in this class who would just brown nose, bust ass, and just try so unbelievably hard. Mm-hmm. And then the midterms come around, and she announces to the class after, like, whatever the time frame to grade those things is, and she says, the highest performing sophomore that i'm teaching this year is in this class and they get all like oh my god it's definitely gonna be me and they're like oh my god who is it and she points at me the kid who <laughs> pretty much slept belt about they're like what oh my god. that really was crazy i found out that i literally could get away with anything in that school after that year because she sent me and like four other people down to the office and there was the principal and the vice principal who was also the whatever of the English department and they're yelling at us they're 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 giving us the whole degree and they're telling them like what are you guys gonna do and they're like we're gonna stop we're gonna do better and I'm just sitting there like poker face quiet and they looked at me they're like what about you what do you have to say I said I'm like nothing <laughs> like you don't have anything to say you're not gonna do better in the class or anything I'm like I have a B like what I, I have a B like a B plus, almost an A or something like that. And they're like, no. They pulled up my grade. Like, yeah. And then I get home that day. And my mom is just like, you son of a bitch. I'm like, oh, God, what did I do? And she tells me they called her. And they expressed great concern at my lack of intimidation. And I was like. <laughs> <laughs> your lack of. Your lack of I was like, mom, you. I was like, mom, you really should never have told me that they said that. She's like, why? I was like, because the school is mine now. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what? <laughs> what year is this? How old were you? Sophomore? I was like 14. That's crazy. Holy shit. That's crazy. <laughs> I did. Wait, I was. Oh my. Just the, I had fun in high school. I didn't pay attention to anything. I was a nerd. How do you do that? Like, what was that like? I studied, like, at least three hours every day after school. Oh, my God. Like, no, every day. And then summer, my mom would make me do these workbooks. Like, that part I really didn't like, but I would do them. I had to do, like, math workbooks and all this kind of stuff. We had... Ooh, this really... (laughs) My mom went to the principal about... Ooh, I'm sorry. My mom went to the principal about this one. In middle school, right? My teacher, she was a history teacher and she would give us these um like crossword puzzles to do for homework but she would grade them like we would have to hand them in and uh we like me and my friends in the class would like communicate on facebook we were like oh how, you how little old delinquents were, how old were you in, in no wait a minute how old were you in seventh grade in seventh grade like 10 years old no 10 11 years old something like that no you gotta be at least like 13 I because when I was in sixth grade, I was 12. I am younger than just about everyone. I don't know. I was 12 when I was in eighth grade. You're the same age as me. I was 12 when I was in eighth grade. That's not true, because I was 14 in eighth grade. Anyway. It's, what do you mean it's I not was, true? I was 14 in eighth grade. Well, I was 12. But you're the same age as me. I don't know why, but I was 12 years old. But you weren't 12 years old, Aniela. Listen to me. Every... Um, <laughs> listen to me. And listen to me good. I know for a fact I was 12. Okay? You weren't 12. Because I had my I had my first girlfriend in 8th grade, and everyone said, oh my god, like, you've got an older girl, and she was 13. In 8th grade? You can't be 12. Dylan. Because you turn 18 in high, in high school. I turned 18 on the last... No. I Four turned... plus two is six. I turned 18 <laughs> after senior year. I didn't turn 17 until December of my senior year of high school. Do that math, please. I'm, I'm freaking out. I you did were not... not 12. Yes, I was. No. Do what I need year? to... What do year I need... are we? 
What? <laughs> do I need to make a phone call? Like... Yes! Please do! Please! Please make a phone call. I will call her for you. I will call I your mother for you. Oh my god. Do it. Hang on. Please. Hang on. Oh my god. I turned 13, like, right after... Alright, no. I turned 13, like, in the middle of 8th grade, but I was 12 for a lot of it. I know this for a fact. Alright? And you don't want me to go into the real reasons why I know for a fact how old I was. Because it's gonna bring this whole podcast mood right down, and everyone's gonna be upset. I want you to call your mother. <laughs> I want you to ask her. Dylan? How old you were? I was 13 the summer after 8th grade. And I know that I was 13, and I turned, I turned 13 in the middle of my 8th grade year. And I know for a fact because... Guess what happened when I was 13? After middle school. Oh. Yeah. Wait, but that doesn't make sense. What year was it? 2011. I'm doing math. I'm doing math. I had so to go if you're to... a year ahead of me, you were technically one year ahead of me in school, right? Yeah. Okay, so you were one year ahead of me, so you were... You graduated middle school middle school in 2011, right? Yeah, I sincerely apologize to you guys for having to deal with this tedious and foolish <laughs> debacle that it's she has put us in. probably really funny. No, wait. So you graduated middle school in 2011. Yes. So that means you were in seventh grade in 2010. Yeah. So well, I was what in is both? What is 2020 minus 10? 2010. No. No. Yes. No. <laughs> yes. I had to go to summer school for math, and I'm the one who's doing the math right now. Moving on. Moving on. You're talking about being a nerd? <laughs> yeah, she can't talk right now, so I'll just do it. What were you guys like in school? I'm speechless. <laughs> I'm disgusted at that. This is just me. <laughs> <laughs> what were you guys like in school, huh? Were you like the goody-goody? Did you study a lot? Or were you more of a delinquent? Or were you somewhere in between? I was a total, unbelievable nightmare. I remember when I first got <laughs> the... Uh, I, I got in a lot of trouble. Because when I was a senior, we were in the library for English class. And my teacher pissed me off, and she yelled at me. So I stood on a chair and started clapping and said, look who finally grew up here and took control of her class. I got in so much trouble for that. I'm still on the other topic. I'm so sorry. I can't. All right, well. I'm, I'm really having a hard time trying to process this because I don't know if I'm really wrong. Like, I don't. You are. I graduated middle school when I was 14. Yeah, I finished middle school at 13, but I was 12 for half of it. Wait, you like finished half of middle my last school? Year. I was 13. Oh, but you were 12. You, you just answered that question. That took so long for you to just finally piece together. No, I, I still haven't pieced it together, but you answered the question that was about to come out of my mouth. All right, you work yourself through this little crisis of yours. I am, and when I understand, I'll chime back in. Right now, I'm doing math in my head. I'm... Pausing my conversation. And yeah, I'll talk to the microphone. I honestly am in shock that this is still going on. <laughs> I can't imagine what it must be like to have to sit through listening to this. Honestly, I wouldn't blame you if you were skipping periodically ahead to see if this was still going on. But it's over now, so stop skipping. Anyway. More, more stories, I guess. More fun little things. So when I was a senior... <laughs> When I was a senior, I was part of those, like, I was part of Students Against Destructive Decisions. Remember when you were in, like, <laughs> middle school and those, like, older kids would come to your class and it would kill the entire thing? And you're just like, well, at least we're not doing schoolwork, but these, these guys are annoying. Yeah, I was one of them. And it was, it's kind of funny because I would go to these schools and say, like, don't do this, don't do that. And then I would leave and go do everything I just told them not to do. Except drugs. I didn't do drugs. I was a drug-free zone. Wow, I was a drug-free zone. <laughs> you all right there? 
I'm they say I'll chime back in when I'm done. Go okay, ahead. Okay, but you're sitting there. Yeah, I'm doing math. Looking like you're almost paralyzed. <laughs> I'm doing math. But anyway, I am very curious to know what kind of kids you guys were when you were in school because I'm sure there is a widely diverse range of you guys. See, I was the Yeah, I was 14 when I graduated middle school. So was everyone else. I was born in New York. They had a different age start for school. You never, ever gave me that piece of information, Aniello. I didn't give it to you tonight, but I'm... Aniello, that's the whole reason why I've been sitting here. We have my, had... The steam has been coming out of my ears. We have had the conversation of how I could have graduated... You... A year ahead of you. We have had the conversation of how I graduated a year ahead of you, but we were the same age so many times. I know I've given you this information. It is not my fault that you have the memory capacity of what I would assume no, to be a, a smart goldfish. Wait a minute. I still graduated middle school at 14. Hmm? I graduated middle school at 14. Yes, I was in New York. So you graduated at 13. Yes. I End of that conversation. They wanted to hold me back when we moved to Jersey, and they didn't do it because I had finished the grade I was on. In the conversation. I didn't even get to finish my story about the damn crossword puzzles. All right, well, why don't you keep them occupied for, like, one minute while I go to the bathroom? Okay. So I'll finish the story about the crossword puzzles. So, um, these crossword puzzles were <laughs> very difficult. So my friends and I would have to communicate on Facebook and, like, Ask each other for the answers, see if they got, like, like number four or something like that. And was, most of them would be like, no, I don't know what it is. And that's because we, like, well, wait, I'll wait. So I went to my mom, and I was like, Mom, this is, like, really hard. I don't want to fail because, you know, I, I need an A. And she was like, okay, I'll ask the teacher because I don't know what it is either. So she, you know, went and asked my teacher, and she said, oh, it was a typo. I made it at 5 a.m. I'll fix it. And so, I don't know about you, but I'd be pretty a little annoyed if my teacher made a crossword puzzle to do for homework at 5 a.m. and grades it and then marks it wrong when she's the one that made the typo in the first place. Like, for the squares. She didn't put enough squares. That's what I should have said from the beginning. Anyway... So, she didn't put enough squares. My mom got really upset and brought it to the principal because she did it multiple times. And that's the story, Morning Glory. Welcome back, Annie Yellow. I am really glad I missed that story. But what was it like to be a nerd? I said I'd studied for like three hours every day and had to do workbooks over the summer. I honestly... No lie. I honestly don't think I've even studied an hour and a half put together. In my entire life. You know, I, I came to find, come senior year, that studying really didn't do anything for me. And it's really weird, because some people have to, like, really crack down. But it just didn't help me. I just kind of retained it. I just never cared. And then in college, all I did was write. So, I mean, there was no real studying involved. When I was in college, I just took classes that were, like, good. Yeah, it was I, college. I remember... I had to take this uh, literature class. It was like World Literature 2 or some crap. And the professor goes, if you do not read everything that I assigned, there is no chance that you will pass this class. And uh, I was taking the class with one of my friends. And we looked at each other and said, bet. We didn't read a single thing. And we got C's. C's get, get, C's get degrees. Even though I never lived by that motto at all in college. I was like, ha, no, you thought. I still haven't gotten my honors cords. I have commencement on Thursday, and I haven't gotten my commencement cords yet. I mean, honors cords, same thing. Um, I don't know what that means. I didn't walk at my graduation. It's like the acknowledgement things you wear on your cap and oh, gown. Oh, those things. Yeah. For nerds, you know. <laughs> yeah, I don't understand. I don't understand, and I always ask people who, like, kept it on the up and up when they were younger. I mean, younger were 
not old, we're in our early 20s, but still. But, like, I was like, what was that like? Because, like... What was that like? Like, being on the up and up. Because I... Oh. Like, last night, when they were saying that uh, the first time they did almost anything was when they got college. to college or something mm-hmm. like that. I hear that from so many people. Last I'm, night, our friends were hanging out with us. And I'm like, what is that like? Because on my end and the people I was with, by by 15, we had done everything. Like, by 15, we were we were hopeless. Yeah, no, I didn't, like, drink. I know you're not supposed to drink until you're 21, but, like, and people normally drink when they're much younger than 21. It just kind of happens. I didn't drink until I was, like, 20. And I, I, I don't drink now, and it's only been <laughs> two years. I, I don't, don't understand it. I don't understand it because, like, I, I've had this conversation. Why do people like alcohol? It's so gross. It's not even about liking like, it. I'm just saying, no, I'm saying <laughs> in general. Like, what the? Mm-hmm. I've had this conversation with my one friend so many times. But, like... I don't understand it. We had it today. We we wonder... Okay, so, like like I said, by 15, we had done everything. Everything. And I hear people say, like, for example, like, I didn't drink until I was in college. I didn't mm-hmm. lose my virginity until I was, like, 16, 17, 18. No, 17, 18, or 19, not even 16. <laughs> Um, or, like, <laughs> later than that. Yeah. And they're like, yeah. or they're like, I didn't do this or that. I'm like, dude, I had, like, what? Mm-hmm. Like, the people, we, the people I know, we just assumed it was normal. Like, when I tell new people, like, stories about what I was up to between the ages of 14 and 17, they're mm-hmm. like, they look shocked. Yeah, up until I got to college, I basically lived in a bubble. See, no, no lie. See, I lived in the complete opposite of a bubble. I mean, there's worse places. And I kept trying to pop the bubble, but the popple, the pop. <laughs> My God. I looked you dead in the eye and just said popple. That's I'm your word dying. of the day, folks. Popple. My lips are just like not moving. Okay, why don't you take a step back and collect your thoughts? <laughs> no, but like, I didn't grow up like there's worse places to be, but like. Like I said, everyone, everyone's reaction is like, oh my god, how were you up to that at that young? How were you, what were you doing doing these things that young? I'm like, I, I thought it was normal. Nah. For some. I, for some, I guess. When I was younger and we were all like, like I said, like, I was 14 years old. I can, like, I was 14 years old and I saw someone almost get stabbed in front of an elementary school. Oh, like that took a turn when i was 14 i knew friends that <laughs> no this is genuinely i knew friends like this was not me i would say if it was me but i knew friends that at like 15 years old accidentally smoked pot that was laced with horse tranquilizer <gasps> my oh my that's you're not good like ng no good i'm not saying it's good but i'm saying these are the types of things like we we're in the presence of people who were gang affiliated. Oh. Not when that happened, but like on nearly daily basis. I was in theater. <laughs> <laughs> it was a crazy, crazy time, man. A crazy time. Yeah. Like most people, and we say this because. <laughs> We know people that that live in the towns around us where it's more on the up and up in general. So, you could See, tell... See, I never knew that our town was like that because I, like I said, lived in said bubble. No, but like, we, we you could tell by the way they act and everything. Not me. And maybe maybe <laughs> the people listening can relate to this if you know. Maybe, maybe you're one of the up and ups and you notice the way people that weren't act different, but... Weren't to act different? different that weren't on the up and up do you know weren't what? acting different no that weren't not weren't a- the people people on the up I and was up just correcting your grammar there was no need to correct my grammar <laughs> why no because my sentence was maybe you were on the up and up and you noticed that people that weren't act different meaning now don't try this with me i'm really good at english um i'm supposed to be anyway 
We can tell by the way they just See, act. I thought I heard it differently. I'm that so it's sorry. Different. I'm trying to tell a story. I know. I apologize. It's I'm apologizing. All right. That's all right. But like, I don't. I don't understand. Like uh, people that grow up in the that grew up in the towns around us, they just want to fight. Mm-hmm. Sometimes, like they'll get drunk and they'll just want to fight, and, we're, and then there's me and my friends that are like, "Why would you? Like, you don't know who's crazy. Mm-hmm. Someone might have a knife on them or something. It's that's just like the mindset we got put into. Mm-hmm. And me and my friend today, we were talking about, it and we realized like these were the kids that they experienced when they got to college what we were doing when we were so young, and up until that point, and probably still to this point, if trouble came knocking on their door, they would have no idea what to do. Meanwhile, us back then. We were looking for trouble. I like, knocked. we would hold the door open to say, come on in. Like, it was fun to us. I knocked. Knocked on wood? You better knock on wood. Baby. All right, this is not the symphony. <laughs> Enough of that. Hey, uh. Sorry. I don't think they want to be hearing this. Sorry, I just took the wheel. Well, Jesus, take the wheel. <laughs> My kitten. My grandmother wanted me to name him Socks. Do not step on the computer. Get him away from that computer. No! Right no! Now. Get away! That <laughs> was the weirdest noise I have ever heard come out of a human being's <laughs> mouth. This is why you need to lock animals away when you do things like this. No! What did he do? What do you mean no? No, he did The other day, I was trying to play around with a microphone, and her cat walked up and hit a button and looped it, and it was the most infuriating thing in the world. You get my phone. Mama. You. See, like, cats are cool, but they're also so unbelievably annoying because they just want to touch things. I don't know, man. I'm a dog person myself. I, I, I prefer a dog. They're more fun to me. Cats don't do nothing. Oliver's like a dog. Oliver is a dog that's been, like, tranquilized, so he's got all the stupidity of a dog, but none of the fun. He's fun. What is fun about him? He plays fetch. He just hunts things, but, like, all he does is run around. Not even the fun kind of run around. He just runs under the couch. Hush. What the heck? Oh, I hope that that was caught on camera. Camera? Where's the camera? I mean, sorry, microphone. Psst, psst, psst. Hey, come here. Get away from the get away from the computer. Don't make me get up again, boy. Oliver, if you don't get away from that computer, I swear to God. Well. Yep, just go on your go on your cat tower. There you go. Yeah, that's right. That's what I thought. <laughs> this cat stares at me every time I'm here. I'll turn around and I'll just see him eyeing me down. I think he's like that with men. Well, if he wants to throw down, I'll throw down. Uh oh. Talk about a cat fight. Uh oh. Uh oh. Look at his little his little paws. Cute little paws. Today. Hi, Why Hi, was it so hot today? I don't know. I was like, inside all day. You were inside I got my all day? Ha- I got my hair done. Well, you know how this week was pretty much like perfect weather? No, I was inside all week. I had, I worked. You had, been <laughs> out- you had been outdoors. We went to the inlet. Oh, uh, but that's in the afternoon and on the ocean. It's cold out there. It's not that much different. The breeze and the mist makes it cold. This apartment is so close to the shore, it's barely different. You might get like a one degree difference. Yeah, well... Which actually, are you a hot person or a cold person? A cold person. I hate sweating. Nothing on earth irritates me more than sweating. So inconvenient. It's gross. And at least when it's cold, I can control my temperature with layers. But I can't control my temperature when I'm hot. That's true. You can always add layers, but there's only so many layers you can take off before you... uh got to go around telling all your neighbors something yeah like it's uh, insane should we cut this uh i don't know that's entirely up to you i we can decide how long we make them right i don't know how long these should be i don't even know how long we've been going on 
Neither do I. But whatever. It's been a wacky little first episode, especially with all the instances of cat involved headaches. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, um, I think like for future episodes we can like, you know, pick topics to talk about, like pick a hat. Pick from a hat. And pick from uh a hat. Yeah. Write some topics down whenever you think about it. And put it in the hat. I think people should just respond to the various uh, questions I pose to you guys. And from there, you can ask us further questions, ask us stories, or tell us stories too. And we can probably do a whole thing responding and reacting to what you guys say. Because I'm sure that at least one person can comment something that will spike like the funniest Mm -hmm. or just dumbest thing we could think of yeah someone well thank you for tuning in to the dna podcast please like and subscribe because we are on youtube and um yeah tell us what you want to hear about and we'll also play games too and you can play along at home we'll be one of those stereotypical podcasts but yeah if we build up enough momentum in a recent amount of time Mm -hmm. maybe we'll do some live ones who knows because then we could do that whole live reaction stuff but hopefully we didn't bore you too much and hopefully i have so far lived up to my statement that we are the newest most mediocre podcast on the world wide web yeah because it's just like hanging out with two friends you know yeah we're all friends now yeah we're all just hanging uh, out i don't want your christmas cards Christmas cards? No. (laughs) All right. All right. Well, thank you. Have a good night. See you next time, chumps.